Hey friends, this box cost $120 at GameStop and we're gonna open it up today and see if it was worth it. Now, are we gonna break even or are we going home broke? Let's find out. All right, we're gonna dive right on in with our handy dandy certified Pokemon product opener. Let's dig right in and see what we can get. All right, nice. the box really is a work of art, guys. It is a beautiful box. So it looks like it does just slide off here. This is a nice display. So far, I'm feeling pretty good about our value. Let's open it up. All right, a little offset here, which kind of absolutely ruins my experience. I'll never recover, but I'm gonna go ahead and bring it down uh, so you guys can see uh, what it's supposed to look like. Well, here are the promos. There's a third promo hiding right there. You also get a code card in the back. First come, first serve on that. You got the Metal Greninja EX. It's nice. I like it. And you got your two playing card promos. The two Greninja EX here. The Shinobi Blade and the Stealthy Shuriken. Damage dice. Markers. Deck box with what I'm assuming are dividers in there. Token. Now that is a cool play mat. I don't care who you ask, that right there is probably about $20 of your value out of the box. Just keep that in mind. All right, and now for the meat and potatoes, what everybody's been waiting for. Let's see what kind of packs we get out of the box. All right, so as you can see, we have 16 packs that came out of this box. We got four Stellar Crown, four Twilight Masquerade, four Paldea Evolved, two Paradox Rift, and two Temporal Forces. Now, most packs are going for about $5 a pack right now, so this brings our total value in packs to $80. So on top of the playmat and the promos, we are sitting right at that $120 mark, give or take. Now it's time to find out if we are gonna break even or if we're going home broke, we're gonna open up every single one of these packs and find out right now. We're gonna save Twilight Masquerade for the end and see if we can get the frog in his own box. I am determined to get him today. Let's do it. Alright, our first pack of Temporal Forces and a Lickitung! Look at that! Lickitung and a Dun Dun Sparse! Holy, that's a good start! Alright, we're gonna go into Temporal Forces pack number two. See if we can keep up the good luck. Bramblegast! Alright, nothing in that one, but we're gonna move on to Paradox Rift and see if we can get anything out of here. Guys, remember, at a thousand subs, we are going to open a box of Super Electric Breaker on stream, and we're going to give away the hits live. So please, please hit that sub button. It really helps out, and I'm going to give back as much as I can. Roaring Moon EX, there's another hit right there. All right, so far, not too bad. Not too bad. Gotta get your code cards. Gotta get your code cards. Volcanion, nothing in that pack. Going into the Paldea Evolved, there are four packs of Paldea Evolved. Oh my goodness, the packaging is... Packaging is noticeably worse. Noticeably worse. And the Luxray. Nothing in that pack either. Now they evolved number two. Backscalibur. Nothing in that one. Spirit Tomb. All right, we're hitting a low, but I believe that we're gonna bring it back with Paldea Evolve Pack number four. No, you ain't. Another Luxray. Time for the tried and true Stellar Crown. I love opening Stellar Crown. So much fun. A lot of cool art. Let's see if we can get a hit and get out of the slump. Buffalant. And... Another Buffalon! Two Buffalons for the price of one. Really, two Buffalons for the price of five dollars. We are not doing so good. We need to get ahead right now. If we have any chance at breaking even. Now, there's still the frog. There's still a potential for the frog. All right, Kofu, Kofu. We did get a hit. We're on the right track. We're on our way to making some money. <laughs> no, 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 no. Al Creamy, probably Al Creamy number 347 for my collection. Nothing wrong with that, but not good for breaking even. And Rhyperior. 
Not looking too good, guys. Not looking too good. All right, now we get into Twilight Masquerade. This is where the frog lives. We are going to find him. Fezzandipity. We are nowhere close to our goal. He ran. Oh, Screamtail, EX, that's a hit. We are back on track. All right, one pack left. Now I haven't done the math yet. It'll be right here on the screen for you. <laughs> but I imagine we are nowhere near that $120 mark. So we're gonna have to hit big in this pack to make anything happen. So let's see what we can get. And Arcanine, absolutely nothing. We are wasted, <clears throat> we are broke. We are going home and we're eating ice chips for dinner tonight. All right guys, $120 later and this is what I got. Couple of good hits, but overall nothing too great. Obviously, when you're opening Pokemon packs, it's always up to chance what you're going to get. I personally think if you're going to open packs, you may as well just buy them separately or find them in another box where the price per pack is a little bit lower. Now, you do get the added value of the playmat, the damage dice counter, and the promos, so that's pretty nice. However, at $120, if you're considering 16 packs, that's $7.50 per pack that you're paying. However, even if you take the cost of the playmat, which I will generously say at $20, you're coming out to $100 for the box for the rest of the packs. That's coming out to about $6.25 a pack, which you can still get cheaper off the shelf or even in other box sets. So I would say if you desperately want the playmat or any of the promos, I would buy them online separately. You don't have to get it all in one box at once, so it might be easier to control the finances over time as far as what you're spending, however to each their own. Now for a collector of sealed product, I don't think it would be bad to have on the shelf. I think it's a beautiful box to have on display. I wouldn't even be surprised if some collectors took off the plastic and even opened it up to display what was inside. Now of course I've destroyed mine and it doesn't look good anymore. However, it did look pretty good with all the promos inside. Everything was nice and neat. So very nice display piece if you're a collector, but I think you can wait on it and get it cheaper later on. I'm sure it's already on the secondary market for like 75, 80 bucks for people just trying to get rid of it. Now, since I bought this at GameStop, I've been in there a few more times and they have stacks of them on the shelf. So people just aren't buying these right now. If you wanna open packs, buy them separately, get them for $5 a pack or even less. So all that to say, the verdict today is we're going broke. Aww. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed the content, please hit that sub button. It really helps me out a lot. We're getting really close to a thousand subs, and when we do, we're gonna open up a box of Super Electric Breaker live on stream. I'm gonna give away all the hits. It's gonna be a super fun. I have all kinds of other videos and live streams planned and ready to go. I hope you all have a great day, and I'll see you guys next time.